It's here, it's arrived. This is a bag you get from the camera store. And let's have a look inside. Canon ES 800D. You guys helped fund this. Funding is still open, like somewhere around there-ish. Let's see what we get in the box. Well, I have actually cheated you a bit. I'll take the battery out, let it charge fully which took about an hour, so they did provide you with a properly empty battery. Paperwork, quick start guide, whatever. Receipt for way too, way too much money. The strap is tiny. Jeez. Like, uh, compare that to the strap my 1000D, that's, that is tiny. Tiny. Well, guess I'll just recycle the strap for that then. Here's the lens. And here's the body. And I think that's about it. Yeah. Since I got the charger out already. Ah, lovely. That's fancy. It has like a proper, seemingly rather proper rubber finish to it. It has a much more uh, contoury shape than the old ES1000D. This, uh, it's a bit of a larger camera, I think, in comparison. Let's just rip the ES1000D out again to have a quick comparison. There it comes. Yeah. The grip is a fair bit chunkier. This one's tiny, but never mind the old one. It's trash, garbage. Uh, flip it display versus. Oh, it has proper latch even. Fancy. This is gonna fail. First thing to go rotary flip screens. Yuck. Uh, battery goes in there. We've only got four connectors for a battery service. Pro doesn't do those fancy camera grips which have those uh, extra connectors for extra buttons uh, to add on, but never mind that. We won't be needing that at all. Let's fire it up, let's fire it up. Chow for battery. Let's fire it up, see what it does. Evil Canon stock battery, manufactured 201702. Canon, fancy original proper. Does not feel as good as the years 1000D. Well, let's power on. Date and time soon. Right, this is going to take about one year, so I'll be back in a sec. And I guess we're just right up and running. So this is going to have some horrid auto thing I need to overcome in order to actually figure it out. So you know that's working, let's get the lens out. From what I've read online, this 1855 STM it's actually supposed to be a rather decent lens, as opposed to the uh, notorious uh, 1855-2, which you got with, with the 1000D. This thing has no uh, stabilization, focus ring is right out there. It's absolute garbage, trash. Whoa, that wasn't screwed on properly, never mind that. This thing does feel uh, like a considerable step up in the world. Uh, above all, the focus ring is actually a ring. It's not just turning the end, end of the lens. This feels excellent by comparison. I am feeling fancy. Very fancy indeed. Right, let's get it on there. See, so we can take our first picture. Ah, oh, I love the smell of new camera. That's 
Pass for a proper smell. A line for white dot. And it is on. Considerably heavier than the old one phase in D. Stabilizer on AF, MF. Oh. oh. You don't actually feel any difference on the ring. Depending on which mode it's in. Oh, that's fancy. That is fancy. Again, I cannot help but compare it to the old awful 1855, where if you actually engage the autofocus, you're also turning the AF motor through the ring. Ugh, yeah, yeah, this thing is awful. Dreadful. Let's turn this thing on. No card in camera. Okay, let's remedy that. Got my spare camera card. In you go. Huh, rubber card even if it's paid off. Hmm, that's an odd feature. Probably going to increase idle Pedro. Intelligent auto. How do I get live view on this? It used to be set. Is it that button? Oh, there we go. We've got picture. That, that is excellent performance compared. <laughs> We're just looking at picture. We haven't got to video and just the autofocus is impressive. And of course, it's not going to do that close. Come on. Whoa, help. Auto flash popped up. Let's get this thing out of auto mode. It's bothering me. Manual, please. Oh, that's just so fast and quiet. I was not expecting that out of a kit lens. Jeez, you can barely even hear it. I'm, I'm put it right up against the microphone. You'll have a listen. You know what? This camera is actually compatible with my old trash lens, so let's let's just clank. Let's just do a comparison. So we'll take that off. And we will install trash lens number one. instant downgrade. Let's see how autofocus uh, performs with well, this lens. It's certainly going to be louder. Why? Huh. That helps. Oh yeah, that switches. Dicky? Oh yeah, there we go. Why? It is still focusing very quickly. We can hear that made it so awful. But still, I mean, the, the magic isn't the camera. This thing has received rave reviews for its autofocus feature. I am impressed. I am very impressed. I could do this all day. But let's, let's get a proper lens on. All right, I have been. Hey, shut up. Wake up. Right, I have been messing around with this thing for a while now, and I've found the feature I've been very excited about the time lapse movie mode. So I've set the camera to movie mode, and let's see how the time lapse works because this supposedly runs uh, the movie uh, shutter i.e. doesn't go click 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 which is going to be 
fantastic for shooting like time lapses of working and time lapses if I'm driving again and something like that so we don't need that and let's, let's have it be patterns for the first five picks so I'm not I haven't tried actually filming or even taking a picture with this thing yet so I'm not sure how you stop this you just press V How do you start this? Is that for a record button? Take a pick. Take a pick. Took a pick. And it took a pick. So, stop time of shooting. No, so to disable. Okay. Can we look at that? How do you look at pictures on this thing? play oh that's lovely that's gorgeous automatic electronic shot at time left I'm in love with this thing oh, it's wonderful absolutely wonderful this thing is going to be so much fun so let's uh, see can we like film a movie yeah, I'm, I've got no idea what the bloody hell the settings are. Full HD, 25p. Hey, it's recording. Now I was uh, messing around with it, and I think you can actually get it to refocus if you actually press the... Yeah, you can refocus using the shutter button. So that just grabs new focus point while recording. Hand background. Oh, fantastic. Everything you ever wanted. Because all AF while filming is a bother. It doesn't need to be too keen on fixing very close, though. I haven't quite figured, figured out the tastes of this thing yet. No focus, no focus. Focus, please. There we go. Why is it not... There we go. Can I, like, do... Oh, yeah. Tracking touch focus. Glorious, and it's not making an awful amount of noise while doing this at all. I am impressed thus far. Granted, it's a super expensive camera compared to what I'm used to. Though this is not bad. So if I like, yeah, grab that and uh, touch focus on that. And I fiddle with it. Ah, oh, this is going to be so useful. It's keeping that in very sharp focus. In fact, I mean, this is going to be a test video. You guys are going to see it better than I am right now. I think this is going to be glorious. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, I think. I think there's a fair chance that guy over there is going to see quite a bit of a challenge coming up. Oh yeah, film your successor. This is going to be nice. So yeah, this is just an unboxing. 